to the barest minimum. So it'll be single word commands, in, number three in, those sorts of things. As they come around, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the photo opportunity.
these guys. Paul Bennett now is coming up, you'll notice. If you can bear to take your eyes off Len Collin, you'll notice that three aircraft approaching you from across the flight line. There will be a switch and they will depart and create one of the most difficult uh, manoeuvres in the air show, a heart. There will be pyrotechnics, there will be a big bang in a moment. It's called the heart. It's technically difficult to get right because of wind and all the other factors. But we did it. Nailed it. Straight up the runway. Every nut and bolt in those aircrafts has aerobatic intentions. Uh, Paul Bennett's Wolf Fitz Pro was uh, custom designed on the bottom up to do nothing, nothing but aerobatics. It's one of only two in the country. We call it the fangs, but it is actually an knife edge. There will be more pyrotechnics. Get your cameras at the ready, ladies and gentlemen. about a foot off the ground. That's the your power to weight that. ratio. It's extraordinary. Okay. Wow. And as Paul Bennett does his last final manoeuvres in order to reposition himself to land, you'll notice the other aircraft taxiing up to the end of the runway. When they do, they will turn around and you'll see them sort of winding left, right, left, right. Watch for that, because that's interesting. So Paul descend, taking the lift down of course. And there he comes. And if we're lucky, he'll put one wheel down first, which is what he likes to do, and then the other. Now the snaking you were talking about, the, the aircraft moving from side to side when it's on the ground. Okay, so clearly he doesn't want to be doing that while he's landing. He's keeping it extremely straight. But when they're coming back, they're wiggling because they have very low visibility. They need to look left and right. And that's it for the Sky Aces. Thank you, Angela, and thank you, Tony. Uh, a very short gap here, so I'd like to go back in just one or two moments uh, to an RAAF interview that we had underway just a little while ago, talking to the FA-18 Super Hornet pilot coming up in just a moment.